Hello, working girl. I trust your week has been going good. Um, as the year has started, um, we have gotten bombarded with tons of advice. I thought I should share with you a few hacks, you know, on how I deal with the advice that we get. The first they say to us often is read, and reading is great. Highly recommend and support it. I'll tell you a few obvious and non-obvious, you know, um, in the ways that I manage this. So with reading, I think it's first set yourself a target. How long do you want to read for? Read something you enjoy. Read something you don't enjoy. And by that, I'm saying something that you're compelled, you know, to read, you know, maybe to help your personal growth. Then I also find... Um, subject matter experts who are my friends and I'll say to them once a week please send me something that is topical you know from your sector that you think you know I should read that way I'm not sifting through they're the ones who you know are sending me you know highlights for me to read the second thing they say to us is to add value now that sounds you know really bogus but again you can set a target you know to add um, you know value mostly to people maybe someone who can't you know, pay for your time. And I'm not virtue signaling. So you might be helping someone do a resume, you know, for an hour, teaching someone how to interview, you know, for a job, just putting someone, you know, through or just, you know, just being a listening ear. It can be also something as tangible as going to serve in a soup kitchen for an hour, obviously a COVID compliant one. They speak to us again very often about guarding your mental health. And here, are two hacks that I use. First, I'm very sensitive to what my triggers are. I realized during the first lockdown that I couldn't deal with a movie where they were they were shooting, that they were gunshots. So in my house, when they're having the bush, 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 bash, I take myself away from, you know, that space. And if, if someone, a human, is, is your trigger, and I'm not advocating malice keeping, but know when to put the shutters down until you muscle up, you know, enough energy to to go back to to engage. And um, the last thing they speak to us often or advice that they give to us about building grids. I use little things, you know, to kind of top up, you know, my ability to build grids. Believe it or not, I don't like exercising, but I have to. So every time I'm exercising, I would say just add 10 minutes, 15 more minutes, just push the borders, push the borders. And, you know, that's how I'm building my greed, you know, and onto that, my my resilience. So I'd like to leave you with Elizabeth Edwards' quote, and it says, she stood in the storm, and when the wind blew, it did not blow her, and then she adjusted her sail. So this year, when the wind comes, when the storm comes, just adjust your sail and keep going. Best wishes, and see you again.